Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today, spring weather, kind of feels like it outside, but we have some rain coming, but it's supposed to be like in the 20s this weekend. It's all over the place. Welcome to spring. So I wanted to share some of the spring trends with you guys, things that I'm seeing a lot on tons of different websites, um, what is in style, what things to be looking for, how to incorporate them into your current style, if that's like not your vibe usually. We're gonna talk about all of that in today's video. Everything I'm sharing is gonna be linked in the description bar below, along with like the actual pieces that I'll kinda just pop up on screen to show you guys. So if you see something you like or want to try, you definitely can. Um, I am also gonna have like my sweatshirt linked down there, makeup details, the whole nine. I have that all linked in the description bar below. So also while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join the fam. You can follow my husband and I on our vlog channel right here if you like more day-to-day -day content. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my notes here because I have a lot that I want to talk about. But first, I want to talk about colors. So that seemed to actually be what inspired me to do this video is because I am seeing more bright colors this spring than I have ever seen before. And when I tell you I am so here for it, I mean that. So I got an email from Like To Know It just a couple days ago, I think. And it actually was talking about the four Pantone colors that they're seeing a lot this year. And if you don't know what Like To Know It is, that's actually like one of the main things that I use to link up everything for you guys. It is a free app that you can download in the Apple Store or even like whatever the Android App Store is called. So they have it for both um, Apple and Android. And it basically is a free app where you can just shop. Um, you can shop your favorite influencers, products, links, everything, like almost always, if you can go to my like to know it and type it in the search bar, it is there. So what they said the four colors were for this spring are playful pink, calming blue, joyful daffodil, and beachy beige. And I feel like that is so true, specifically those first three. I am seeing pink, blue, and yellow everywhere. Like all over the place. And my favorite places to shop are like Walmart, Amazon, Target. Um, I do like H&M sometimes. They're a little bit more trendy. Pink Lily, that's like where this sweatshirt's from is Pink Lily. Um, and then I do have like Urban Outfitters, Nordstrom, you know, I kind of shop all over the place, but my like top favorites like could not go without our Amazon, Target, and Walmart. And I have seen equally all of those colors across the board at every single one of those places. Now, Target right now is scaring us all. It is so terrible. And like, I, I really thought that Wild Fable, their like juniors line was the only line that had those like horrible clothing items. Um, but every time I go into my Target, it seems like it's just this explosive of like euphoria, um, the show mixed with like that 70s show stuff. And I finally online have started to see, look at that, Doug wanted to come join. He's mad because we won't let him on the pillows. But I finally online started to kind of see a little bit more simple pieces. Uh, they're still basics. I wish that they would kind of bring back their regular blouses and stuff, but Target's a little scary right now. So for me, it's like more Walmart, Amazon, where I'm looking um, for my spring pieces. And H&M is a really, really good place to shop, but they do have super trendy stuff. You can definitely find things on H&M that are great, great basics. There are pieces that I have from them that last for so many years. Years. Um, but do know that if you are going to shop at H&M, they are a little bit more on the trendy side. The first trend I am seeing everywhere is pleated skirts and tennis skirts. Now, I am not a skirt girl. Um, it's just not really my jam, partially because I'm such a klutz and I fall a lot. Just part of who I am, always has been, <laughs> kind of always will be. And skirts are, you know, a little, when you fall, they can come up. Um, I do love dresses, but I'm more of like a jeans and shorts girl just through and through. But I am seeing tons of pleated skirts and tennis skirts everywhere. I did get a blush pink um, pleated skirt from Amazon the other day that I'm really hoping to style with like a graphic tee or something soon for the spring weather, just because I think it would be great for my still very growing belly. I still have six weeks left in this pregnancy. Um, so I did get that. And I have a leopard print one that I have worn in the fall that I also think would look really cute with graphic tees. So pleated skirts, tennis skirts, you're seeing them everywhere. Walmart, Amazon, Target, H&M, it does not matter. Nordstrom, they are all over the place. Skirts are so in this year. This trend, I'm not even gonna give this one the time of day. It's one I don't like. You don't have to follow every trend. Low rise jeans are horrible and whoever is like wants to bring them back, I don't like you, okay? I am about to become a mom. 
I am about to join the mom bod squad. I do not want low rise jeans. Who, who, who? They were bad enough the first time. Stop. So I don't care if I'm out of trend. I will be wearing high waisted jeans forever. And ever and ever and ever. Good thing is Abercrombie is like my favorite place to buy jeans of all freaking time. And they have some low rise jeans, but I have found that they are, they are sticking true to the high waisted jeans. They understand us. They know. Low rise jeans were bad the first time. Let's not bring them back. So crop tops and fitted tops are definitely something I'm seeing. I'm seeing tops get smaller and smaller, almost look like bralettes. Um, and I love crop tops. Not sure we're gonna love crop tops after I give birth. We will have to see. <laughs> but of course they become, you know, like the super high item the year that I, I saw this on TikTok. It said, I would like to know who decided that crop tops were going to be all the rage when I entered my childbearing years. And I felt that like I was so last summer, if it was a cropped, I didn't want it. And now I'm like, oh, that's cropped. I can't wear it right now. May not want to wear it later. Who knows? So I'm still seeing them everywhere. I love the way they look. I think when I see a girl like rocking a really cute crop top, I am like, yes, ma'am, slay queen. That is so cute. Um, it's just not something I personally can wear right now because my belly is low and very, very large. So I need all the extra length I can get. But crop tops and like very form fitted tops are in. And actually I'm seeing a lot of those styled with high waisted jeans. Thankfully, I have not seen like a crop top and a low rise jeans situation yet because that really would push us back to like 2001. But I do I do like crop tops, I just personally can't wear them right now. Ruffles, ruching, and tears. I am seeing this all over the place. The amount of ruffles I have seen on um, H&M and Walmart, the amount of tiered dresses and tiered tops I am seeing. I always love that. I think it's very flattering because if you guys remember, back when I think I was like in high school, um, what was it called? Peplum tops were kind of the thing and you had that like one, it was like a form fitted top and then it was tight. Kind of had this like one little, poof out or whatever and I feel like it made people look more shapely and that's kind of why we really liked it but now I'm seeing um, tears so the tops are a lot more flowy and just ruffles in general I do have to be very careful just because I am very large chested um, with ruffles up top but I love them on like sleeve detail I'm seeing them a lot at like the bottom of blouses but that is one it's just overall when you see those pieces ruffles tears any of that it seems to be a more flowy piece which I do still love um, in blouses so I have like a green blouse from H&M. It's gorgeous. It has ruffles on it. It is, it makes me a little bit nervous just because it is so roughly up top, um, but it is a very gorgeous color for spring and it's very comfy too. Denim everything. I am seeing jean and denim stuff, skirts, um, tops, full, like overalls are back in, dresses, just regular jeans of course, but jean tops. Um, I love denim everything. I love my denim jacket. That's a true staple in my closet, always will be. I love a good pair of just good high-waisted jeans. I love like jean dresses. Um, the one thing I don't love is jean skirts on me. That's just again, because I'm not much of a skirt girl, but also I don't love Canadian, is it called Canadian tuxedos, I think. I think. That is kind of one that I've never loved because I don't know how to really style it. Do you make sure that the wash is identical or do you mismatch it and you have like a much lighter denim top with a denim bottom that's darker? Like I don't I don't really know. So I've never been a fan of Canadian tuxedos. That's just my personal preference. But if you guys are, tell me what you think. Like do you think that the washes should match or not? Uh, regardless, I'm loving all of the jean and denim stuff that I am seeing, whether it's dresses, overalls, I think are so so cute whether they're like regular overalls or shorts um, and you guys just know like a good pair of denim shorts good pair of jeans that is like I always will love those I just think it's true like a classic it's just a good pair of jeans and then bright colors so I love this but I'm also a neutrals girl so I think that this year there's been a really great tie into the two pieces together so you're seeing these really bright colored blouses but they are a little bit more simple everywhere else even I had a Walmart sweater that I bought um, and was wearing a few weeks ago and it was this like bright neon color but it was a very simple sweater and I just loved that because I felt like it was so easy to style although it was a very bright piece um, so luckily 
luckily I am still seeing if you do have that really bright pop of color um, the piece itself is a little bit more simple as far as like the way it hangs or what option it is for you guys but I love the bright colors like I said usually that's not something I'm into but this year I'm eating up all of the colors like it is my job well it kind of is I guess fashion really is a part of my job so the one thing that I do want to share with you guys as far as like styling tips go is do what makes you comfortable. I know that it is so hard sometimes to push yourself outside of your comfort zone and try new things, especially when it comes to style, um, which is why I like to shop more affordable pieces. I've told you guys, I prefer to spend my money on accessories, so like jewelry, shoes, bags, and then not spend as much money on whether it be like a pair of bottoms or a top, just because those do kind of come and go very, very fast. But find your style and just run with it. You do not have to like hop on the trends just solely because they're out there. If neon colors are just not your thing, then you don't have to wear them and you can still look very cute and very in style. Um, and if you look uncomfortable equally, so that's going to be very obvious to people. For me, what I like to do when it came to trying out new things was I was very cautious, especially in the beginning, like uh, at the fall time when we kind of saw sweater vests come back, I was like, Hey, I'm not for this. And so I found a really, really affordable one on Amazon and I loved it. And so then I was like, okay, I'm more comfortable now. I can maybe try it with this or I can try to style it like this. And it actually became a trend that I absolutely loved. So if neons like aren't for you, but you kind of want to give it just a little bit of a try, maybe go to Walmart, find a really cute neon blouse, wear it out, see how you feel, see what people say. But at the end of the day, if it makes you confident, wear it. It does not matter what other people are wearing. Um, and that's just kind of what I want to encourage you guys here to know on my channel is like, you can take either budget pieces or high-end pieces and dress them up however you choose. And that's like one thing I really just want you guys to take away from my channel is that like confidence is everything. It does not matter what you are wearing. If you are confident in it, it is going to show and people are gonna notice and you are going to look fabulous. So that is it for today's video. I hope that this kind of tried to get you guys on track for spring. I am so ready. My birthday is actually the first day of spring, so I always love that time of year because it's just like warmer weather. It's gonna be daylight out longer and it's my birthday. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. Love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.